Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll go through creating a chart based on the hourly exceptions Excel file here. And as you see, I have a bunch of data here. And the key thing to creating a chart is to select the right thing. Otherwise, the chart will be all off. Let me just show you the all off here. If I insert a new a stacked graph like this one for example here you'll notice that this looks very strange 12 a.m all those things it's simply off and that's because it's taking too much of the values here it's using the hour as a one of the um, axis and that's not what it's supposed to be so let me actually do the same thing and just select this data instead and again i'm going to insert a chart in the same way and as you see now we get a much nicer graph and we can see the total and we see that it's using the times here as it should and it's color coding by the different regions. So that drives home my point that it's very very important to select the right information before inserting a graph. Um, another thing that I want to show you is using spark lines and I'm going to add them over here and you can do them insert here and then you can just put a line there and what you do is simply select data that you want to add a spark line for like that and there you see the progression during the day and it's just more and more and more okay so this is rather boring data but oh, it's all the same but let's change this around a bit so we get more interesting data let's put this into 37 in the middle of the evening there as you see we get a dip there so these are actually live graphs one for each row and of course we got a dip in the big chart here too so that is a very visual way of illustrating the data like that so uh, that concludes this demo i've added a stack chart and I've shown the importance of selecting the right information before adding a chart and then i've added spark lines Thank you for watching this demonstration.